Okay, in this physics problem, we're going to be working with two snow cats. We have uh, snow cat A and snow cat B. We're going to imagine this is a winter setting, and the two of them are pulling uh, some kind of a housing unit to some new location. And uh, some of the forces, FA and FB, is horizontal to the ground and also uh, parallel with this uh, line L. Now, we know that FA is 4500 newtons and I want us to find uh, FB and also find the magnitude of FA plus FB. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we also know that this angle is 32 degrees and this angle is 48 degrees and now we're gonna figure out what kind of forces we have in the x direction and what kind of forces we have in the y direction for that we're gonna break these two forces into its components now we're gonna we're gonna let's see i'm gonna use a different color so this right here I'm gonna be this triangle and this part we're gonna call f a x this part right here we're gonna call i'm gonna put it like this so we can see it better f a y we're gonna, these are vectors there you go now let's break up this one this one right here and down here so like that up here this part we're gonna have f b x and over here we're gonna have f b y okay now we have our component we know FA is 4500 newtons and they want us to find FB. Now, for this, we're going to start working with Newton's formula and we're going to check the sum of the forces in the x direction, which equals MA, right? And in the x direction, we realize that there is no acceleration. So, this is zero. Therefore, we can write that our the sum of the forces here in the x-direction will be zero. So let's see. Fax is one of the forces that x acts in the x-direction and Fbx is the other one. So we're going to write it up. Fax is this way, so we're going to use it with a negative. So minus F A X F B X is in this direction. So that's gonna be plus F B X equals the zero that we have here. There you go. Now let's see. We need the F B is what we need, not F B X. So we're gonna have to substitute this out using a little trig. From this triangle f a x also we're gonna break it up and use trigonometry so we can get f a in there since that's the value we have now f a x we're gonna break it up into f a times sine 48 right here f a times sine of 48 degrees plus FBX we're gonna break it up into FB times sine of 32 degrees equals a zero all right now we can go ahead and solve for FB since that's the value that we need FB equals we're gonna have a fraction I'm gonna go ahead and plug in uh, the 4500 for our FA right here so uh, let's see what we're gonna have we're gonna have 4500 newtons times 
sine of 48 degrees divided by sine of 32 degrees. There you go. And calculator time. And that's going to give us a value of 6300 newtons. There you go. We found our FB to be 6300 newtons. Okay. In part B, they want us to find the sum uh, of the forces FA plus FB. Okay, the sum of the forces will be sum of the forces in the x direction plus sum of the forces in the y direction. Let's break it up. Sum of the forces equals we have FA x which is a negative plus f b x plus in the y direction we have f a y plus f b y now as we pointed out in part a there is no movement in the x direction so Therefore, these two forces will be equal, and therefore they are gone. So, we can see that our total sum will be equal, basically, to the sum of the forces in the y direction. Let me write this down here. So, all we have to do is add the forces from the y direction, which are these two. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start plugging in FAY. Well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and break up FAY and FBY and then plug in the values. So, FAY is FA, little trigonometry again, cosine 48 degrees, plus this one, we're going to break it up, FB, cosine 32 degrees from these two triangles. Okay. Now we can go ahead and we have this value given originally, we calculated this one and by plugging in we can get our F, uh, the sum of the two forces, A and B. There you go, sum of the forces A and B, so it's more clear. Now, uh, where were we? I'm going to plug in, 4500 newtons cosine 48 degrees plus uh, we found this one to be 6300. I'm uh, rounding this to two sig figs since that's what we had in the beginning. Well, this was, there you go. This is 6311, but I'm just gonna round it straight to two sig figs. Cosine 32 degrees. And now we're gonna get some of the forces A and B will be equal to, with a calculator, we can get our number, which is 8400. And I'm going to leave it with two sig figs. There you go, that's our final value.